Welcome to GED Math and Dirty News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math for 30 Days. I'm your host. My name is Jeremy Tinsley, an adult educator out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I created uh, this YouTube channel, my website, and my ebook to help the many people to pass their GED math exam because I, I, I know it causes so much frustration, uh, so much heartache. But guess what? I'm here to help you. And I'll, if you put the hard work in, you will pass. I will help you pass your GED math exam in 30 days. And today, we'll be discussing system of equations. Now, you can expect maybe one, maybe two at the most on your GED exam, but today we're going over system of equations. And I don't, I'm not gonna go deep in detail. I'm gonna go over the common problems you can expect to see on the GED exam, okay? So let me share my screen. If you notice, you have a system of equations, it has one or two equations. The whole purpose of a system of equation is trying to eliminate one of the variables. But if you notice, if you look at this problem, it already eliminates one because the opposite of 4x is minus 4x. So it's nothing to do on this problem. These x's already cancel this out. You wanna combine the two equations. So a positive 8y minus 2y is 6y. Bring down your equal. You want to combine a minus 12 and a minus 24, which is a negative 36. You want to divide both sides by 6. The 6 is canceled, and you get y is equal to negative 6. Now, remember, the system, a, a solution of a system of equation is a point where the two lines cross. So we need our x uh, part of our ordered pair. We have our y, so we're going to plug this back into one of the equations. It does not matter which equation that you use. So I'm going to use this second equation. So 4x plus 8 times minus 6 equal negative 24. We got 4x minus 48 equal negative 24. In order to, to get the x by itself, first we got to get rid of the negative 48. So we're going to add 48 and then whatever we do on one side of the equal, we got to do on the other side because we want to maintain that balance. Bring down the 4x. The 48 cancels. Bring down my equal. 48 minus 24 is 24. Again, to get the x by itself, the opposite of multiplication is division, so we're going to divide by 4. Whatever we do to one side, we do the, on the other. Of course, the 4s cancel, and we're left with x is equal to 6. So your final answer, your x is 6, your y is negative 6, your ordered pair would be 6 comma minus 6, because we know in an ordered pair, x comma y. Okay, so that's the first problem I wanted to show you, where the one of the variables already cancel each other out. So let me save this. Let me clear the screen. Let's go to a second problem to where one of the variables are the same in both equations. Okay, so if we look at number five, again, we look at our x's, we look at our y's, both of our y's say negative 9y. So one of the ways what you want to do is you want to multiply one of those equations by negative one. So all we got to do is put a negative on the outside of parentheses, and then multiplying by negative one, that has the effect of just changing the sign of everything inside. So first, that first equation we're going to bring over. We didn't change that at all. We're not changing that equation at all. And the second equation, again, we're multiplying by negative one, so we want to change the sign. So we have a negative x turns to positive 4x, a negative 9y turns to positive 9y, and negative 23 turns to a positive 23. Again, now we're going to combine both equations. 4x minus 2x is 2x. The 9y's now cancel. We bring down our equal, and minus 25 plus 23 is a minus 2. Again, x is still not by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 2. And we get x equal negative 1. 
But again, the solution of a system of equations is the point where the two lines cross. So we now must get the y. So we're going to take this negative one and we're going to plug it in. It doesn't matter uh, which equation you plug it in. So uh, let's, a minute ago, I, I chose the second equation. This time I'll choose the first equation. So minus two times minus one minus nine y equal negative 25. Two negatives, when you multiply them together, you get positive two. Minus nine y equal negative 25. Okay, we're gonna subtract two from both sides. The twos cancel, we get minus nine y equal negative 27. To get the y by itself, since we're multiplying by minus nine, we wanna do the opposite. So when divide by minus nine, the two negative nine cancel, we're left with a y equal, now 27 divided by nine is three, and two negatives make a positive. So my, our y is three. But again, it is the ordered pair that's the, that is the solution. So the ordered pair is minus one comma three. Okay, that's the second example I wanted to show you. And I want to show you one last example. I hope this really helps. I'm going to show you one last example. Again, you can pause, rewind the video to go over it, but let me go over one last example. And let's look at uh, number 10. Okay, so now we can't automatically cancel one of the variables. We can't multiply by negative one. So what we have to do is we have to find a multiplier we can multiply one of the equations by to get rid of one of the variables. Remember, that's the whole purpose, is to eliminate one of the variables. So here, I know the opposite of minus 4x is a positive 4x. So uh, that means I must multiply this bottom equation by 4. Because what you can't just multiply one term by 4. You got to multiply everything on both sides of the equal by 4. So we're going to rewrite this equation on top. We're not changing that at all minus 4x plus 9y equal 9. We're going to distribute this 4. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times a negative 3y is a negative 12y. And then 4 times a negative 6 is a negative 24. Again, when we combine the equations, the x is cancel, And we have minus 12y plus 9y, which gives us a minus 3y bring down our equal, and then minus 24 plus nine is a negative 15. In order to get to y by itself, it's being multiplied by negative three. The opposite of multiplying by negative three is divided by negative three. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other. The negative threes cancel, and we get y equal 15 divided by three is five. Two negatives make a positive. So our y is plus five. And again, just like the previous examples, we must know the point where the two lines cross, so we must also find x. So we're going to plug this 5 back into one of the equations. I'm going to use the second equation. So we have x minus 3 times 5, because y is 5, equal negative 6. We have x minus 15, because a negative times a positive is a negative. 3 times 5 is 15, equal minus 6. In order to get x by itself, we're going to add 15 to both sides. We bring down the x, the 15s cancel. We bring down the equal, 15 minus 6 is 9. So x is 9. Our point will be 9 comma 5. That means if you plug both x and y into both of those equations, those are solutions to not just one of the equations, but both of the equations. That's why it's called a system of equations. And that's why it's at the point where the two lines cross. cross. I hope you. I hope this helped. Uh, this is one of the more difficult questions on your exam. Uh, so make sure you watch the video. You can watch it as many times as you want. You can review, you can pause, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment. If this video helps you, make sure you comment and let me know. I want to know how you're doing. I want to know if this, uh, uh, which is brought to me as a purpose for me in my life to help others. I just want to know if it's helping you. 
thank you again. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like to my channel. Make sure you check out my website, pastgdmath.com. And make sure you join us on GD Math Mondays. Um, if you if you join me on GD Math Mondays, if you're interested in buying a book, I will give you a discount code to purchase that ebook. And uh, what is the ebook? The ebook is a way you can use the calculator to solve the most difficult questions on the GD exam in less than one minute. So I hope this helps. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.